um, this is going to be very very advantageous to you especially if you are still on the process of submission right? while you are submitting your financial document at the embassy you are required to submit either the bank statement of your sponsor or how not to you know play all your cards at the first go whereby you find yourself tied up you know at the time when you want to come back for appeal hello guys and how are you doing welcome to my youtube channel this is rafael here and today i'm going to be talking about how not to play all your cards at the embassy when you go to submit your document so um this is going to be very very advantageous to you especially if you are still on the process of submission right now please pay serious attention to this if you are going to the embassy probably this is going to be maybe both important for those at the nigerian embassy and those at the tanzanian embassy any of these embassies you know most of the time why we go to submit our documents we tend to play it safe okay so we want to submit everything at the same time we want to submit all the documents we want to package everything that we can possibly get you know and submit just at that one time but then if you are not careful this can you know this can backfire or maybe this can um cause a problem for you especially when you come back for an appeal no nobody wishes to get an appeal but of course right now 95 percent of people end up coming for an appeal okay and most times those that are given the visa somewhere around 70 to 80 percent they get their visas when they appeal the decision that was given to them previously okay so that is the good thing about the polish embassy so i'm going to be talking to us today about how not to you know play all your cards at the first go whereby you find yourself tied up you know at the time when you want to come back for appeal and today we are just we are just going to be talking about the financial documents only we are not going to be looking at any other document just the financial documents today and maybe in, pre in the next videos and the coming videos we are going to look at other documents so if you like videos like this if you know you will get value you got value from this video maybe at the ending of the video you know you can feel free to like this channel you know just feel free to subscribe to the channel if you get value from it okay so that is how we roll here so let's go into how does the submission of your document your your financial document at the embassy go now while you are submitting your financial document at the embassy you are required to submit either the bank statement of your sponsor or a credit card Yes, it's that you submit the bank statement of your sponsor, probably six months worth of bank statement, or a credit card that contains at least 35,000 euros in it, in your currency, in dollars or in euros, whichever one, you know, you want to have the money in, you know, um, you have to have this, either one of them. Now, why going for submission? You might want to go with the two of them at the same time. You get both the bank statement and the, um, and the, and the credit card. If you go to submit your documents like this, if you are rejected in the first instance for financial reasons and you go for an appeal, you will have to get a new sponsor because you have exhausted all your options when it comes to the financial aspect of your sponsor. You have shown them, you have shown the embassy the bank record and you have shown them a credit card. If you probably bring anything again from that same sponsor, the embassy will possibly deny uh, your visa. This happened to me. That's why I'm saying it. I had to get a new sponsor within two weeks. We had to print new everything afresh and new. And um, it was not very easy for me. So what I will advise you to do is when you go to the embassy for first submission, do not submit everything. It's either you submit the bank statement, the six months bank statement, or you submit a credit card. What? 35,000 euros. Yes. So that in case for any reason, the embassy comes back and says to you that, you know, you have been denied for financial reason. You can just go back and bring the second half of the document. What happens at the embassy is that once you submit your document, the embassy do not actually, you know, throw them away. No, the embassy keeps them. The embassy keeps them safe. And when you bring any additional document, the embassy adds it on top of the one you have already brought before. So the money compounds and then the money becomes, you know, um, uh, becomes probably a, a sum that is that, that can allow them to grant you a visa. Okay, so this is how it works. And this is my advice to you today. For you not to play all your cards at the first time while submitting, okay? Submit just one, either the financial statement or your credit card. Now, in my next video, I'm going to be looking at every single document you require from your sponsor. 
and maybe possibly the ones you need to legalize, notarize, whatever you need to do to them, okay? So this is what we are going to be looking at in my next video. Every single um, document you are going to get from your sponsor. And if you are looking forward to that video, please drop in the comment section. I'm looking forward to that video. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this YouTube channel. I'm going to see you in my next video with that amazing package. Thank you so much for sticking by this video. Thank you so much for watching. And I'm going to see you in my next video. Bye-bye.